Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Take two, everybody. Um, I just did a live outside and I could not see the screen. And um, so I missed all the comments, couldn't have any interaction. And um, when I got all done and went back and watched it, all of my paintings, although they were in the camera, so I'm pretty impressed with myself for that, um, there was a huge shadow and you couldn't see anything that I was painting. So for the couple of ladies that caught me live, uh, Shirley, Shirley, Sharon, see, Shirley, Sharon, Shandy, Sh Sandy, Shirley, Shirley and Christine, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry I couldn't communicate with you. And uh, I'm doing a do-over because, yeah, this is what we were doing. And um, all of the strokes, I feel like this isn't even, I don't know. It's one of those days, you guys. It's one of those days. I feel like um, you didn't get to see any of what I was doing. So if you caught the last one before I deleted it, if you were there, I'm doing a do-over. And uh, if you missed it. Here we go, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys, these days, these days. So as you pop on, please say hello. Um, and if you're catching it on the replay, please say hashtag replay. And uh, we will power on. <laughs> I was going to show you. This is, I got, I got it all rolled up out there. This is what I'm going to do in the... Um, Creatives Easter weekend group, which is a free group uh, Next Saturday, I believe I'm at 10 o'clock. I need to get in there and do a post in there. Um, so If you are not there and you want to check out a bunch of free tutorials, there you go I'll be in there Saturday. I was in there a couple weeks ago um, really great group of artists there and If you are not in my paint club, please join us. We're gonna be doing this one or this one, you can do any very, I need to take a picture of these together. You can do any variation of those um, in there. It's a $10 paint party. Um, go to creativelystacy.com to get into that. Uh, I'd love to have you there. And um, feel free to sprinkle the love since I'm on take two and you know. So I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this with my chalk paint. Um, you can do it with any paint you have. Hi, Tracy. Um, we're going to do a very simple, keeping it easy, no stress, and hopefully this time there won't be a bunch of shadows and you can actually see what I'm painting, and I'll be able to communicate with you because I'll be able to see your comments. So I'm going to turn you down, and let's get started with uh, a little bit of whimsical fun, right? Okay. Here we go. Hi, Wendy. There, you're in. I can see you. You can see me. And I'm gonna actually take this out because my lights are being really weird. I don't know what that is. How are you doing? Just doing something very low key today. No stress. Easy, easy. Anybody that's hanging out with the kids, the grandkids, first time painters, this brush was I had this outside when I did the last one and it didn't um, get cleaned very good. Um, yeah, just something that anybody can do. I'm using a two by four from my Diva Den, which is my fancy name for my shed. Um, I sanded the edges. Actually, the other side was going to be the front. Um, so now it's going to be double sided. I sanded the edges just so they wouldn't be sharp. You could use um, a thick piece of paper. You could use cardboard. You could use a big flat rock, um, a scrap piece of wood. Use whatever you have. You guys, this is just that time where we just use, use what we got, right? I know you all have stuff. You just gotta think outside of the box and um, grab up something. I'm gonna be using some basic paint colors. I've got yellow, red, white, black, and I grabbed green. If you don't have green, use blue. Mix your yellow and blue, make your own green. I'm doing very simple. 
I'm using a chip brush. You could use any big flat brush that you have um, just to get your background down. I'm, I'm just doing a straight, straight yellow, no, nothing crazy background. I just want something bright and cheery. You could um, put a hanger on this. You could use it as a shelf sitter. Um, depending on what you do it on. I mean, it would be really cute on a rock. You just um, seal it for outdoors and put it in your garden or in your walking path. Lots of options. Lots of options. So there we go. Um, I already painted the sides on this, so paint all the things, right? Paint it all the way around. Wash off your brush and set it aside. Oh, you guys, I had I had bought a um, electronic, a plug-in stapler a while ago. I have a hard time having enough pressure to use the heavy-duty staple guns. I gotta show you this. I made, I'm so proud of myself, I wanna show this. This is a jute or twine, and I stapled it. I made little hangers for these. How cute is that? So proud. I was so scared to use it. I made husband come in and do it the first one. I thought it was going to make a lot more noise and be a lot harder to use than it was. But if you don't have the hand pressure to use the heavy duty staple guns, um, the electronic ones are amazing. And um, yeah, I, I completely recommend it. I just, I'm just so happy. I have a hard time with hammering the hangers onto things, getting them centered, getting them level, all of that. Um, this you can just kind of slide around on the on the hanger on the wall until it, it goes level, so perfect. So if you have twine or jute or string or rope and the staple gun, highly recommend, highly recommend. And I'm so pleased. He bought me, you guys, I've told you this before, he bought me a, a cutting thing um, to cut wood with for Christmas. <laughs> it's April. I haven't used it yet. I'm scared of that, too. Um, unfortunately, he went back to work today. But I'm going to have to, I need to take that down to the Diva Den and um, have him show me a cut. I was going to catch up with... Um, Sandy at the lumber mill and ask her, she's on Facebook too, ask her to do a step-by-step -step tutorial. And I know she said she was going to do it that one weekend and it's just been so crazy that I haven't followed up with her. So I need to, I could ask her because she would probably, she would probably walk me through it too. I bet you we could do a Facebook live. You guys, if you're feeling like really isolated right now, like you're not seeing people, we haven't seen people, I haven't seen people in weeks. Um, I'm just hanging out with you guys. I appreciate that. Um, you know, you can do Facebook Live videos. You can video chat. So whether it's friends or family or your online friends or family, whatever the case may be, I encourage that. So I think I am going to reach out to her. She's actually in Canada. But we can um, connect on Facebook video. So I might do that and ask her to walk me through. Because I really want to get that out and use it. I've got some pieces of wood down there that I could cut and use. And I really hate having to wait for somebody else to, to cut them for me. So there's that. So I'm just getting some green. I got my brush wet. and I'm kind of wetting it down a little bit because I'm using a thicker paint. Um, and I'm not going to blow dry anything today. We're going to, we're rolling with it. We're doing relax. Relax and easy. I'm still using that same. I'm using a little angle brush. I am using a green. This is, I think it's mermaid tail. I'm using my Junk Monkey chalk paint. Doing a very whimsical, light painting. And um, no stress. I'm not even doing solid lines. I'm doing some dashes. And uh, one, two, three, four, mm -mm -mm, five. There we go. 
that's the extent of that. That's how serious we're going to get today, you guys. We're going to go very relaxed and simple. I'm going to grab a little bit of white out. I'm going to throw a few leaves in here. I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but honestly, a line, a line, a line, a line, a line. Okay. I'm going to get some white down. <laughs> this little popsicle stick might be about done. It's gotten pretty thick. The paint dries on them. I reuse them over and over. <laughs> you never know. I'm going to use that same angled brush. I'm going to dab into the white, dab into the green. And I'm going to do some random leaves, which are basically two C's. Join together, do them as long or as short as you want. Put as much green or white in them as you want. Right, we're just rolling with it. We don't need any extra thought process. Put some down here maybe. Keeping it very simple. There we go. I was saying earlier, I need to, I don't need to, I would like to order some more uh, paint. And I have a gift certificate from Christmas and I lost it. I organized my craft room yesterday, but I didn't find it. So I'm hoping it turns up or I'm hoping it's in my email or maybe my mom has it in her email. I'm not sure. If not, the paint, the, the chalk paint I use is from Junk Monkey, and they're a small family-owned business, so I'm sure I can get a hold of them. If you guys are out shopping, shop local, shop from small families, and um, whenever you can. So I'll get a hold, if I can't find it, I'll get a hold of them. I'm sure they'll help me, which is kind of the nice, it is a really nice thing with small businesses, you guys. We're really... Everybody in the small business world could use the extra love right now. And I could use some paint, so <laughs> hopefully we'll get that worked out. I'm going to do a smile line. I know, right? I get sidetracked. I'm not even um, drawing any of this out, you guys. I'm just rolling with it. I'm just getting some paint down, enjoying the process. There we go. There we go. So if you are painting along or painting with the kids, it's a smiley shaped top and a curved side. And I'm going to paint in that curve and go right down and fill it in. I'm going to straighten up when I get to the middle. Okay, so it's curved on the sides. My yellow is still wet because I didn't blow dry anything, but if you are in the mood to blow dry, go right ahead. I don't know if I've ever mentioned before, you guys, you really shouldn't use the hot heat when you're using your blow dryer. If you do, keep it moving. Keep it moving because heat will actually remove paint. I mean, the heat guns that everybody uses when they're... When they have them, I'm going to cough, excuse me, <coughs> allergy season here, and I was just outside. Um, heat guns were actually, are actually made in the, in the world of paint world to actually remove paint. So the heat will crack your paint and remove your paint, pull your paint up. So if you are using your blow dryer, use that cooler setting. You really just, really just want the air. That's, that's really your main objective. When you get on the side of your uh, vase, turn your brush up and down. You can smooth out that line pretty good. So there we go. So 
So far, so good. See, I don't know what I said in the last video and what I said in this video. If you guys are out there still working, thank you. My husband's working today. I'm not very happy about it, but that's what it is. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Anybody with me? Oh, brain fade. Taking over the world. I don't know. And so we paint. I can't get this. There we go. Get this back open. I'm going to grab a round brush, maybe. Brushes are still dirty from outside. I didn't wash them off good. I'm going to grab a round brush. If you guys are talking to me, I'm no longer seeing comments. I don't know what that's about. If you're out there, say hello. I'm going to push down and pull out. Let me turn this light down so I'm not in the shadow. I was in the shadow outside. I'm in the shadow inside. I don't know. It's a thing. So I'm going to push down and pull up. Push down and pull up. That's all I'm doing. I'll go back and add another layer to those in a minute. These ones I'm just going to do the top. Like I said, this is just really relaxed, whimsical, easy, no stress. Let me see. Nope, nothing. I got nothing over here, you guys. What in the world? I had a couple of ladies on earlier that were um, part of the paint club. And I was saying, I think I'm going to go back on, I thought the shabby roses would be easier to do than apparently they are. And my whole goal with the paint club is so that anybody can paint. I want, you know, the seasoned painters to come in and be able to have a relaxed place where they can get ideas. And um, that green was still wet and go ahead and embellish it and change it up and make it their own and I want it to be a place but I you know for the new painters that are just beginning to be able to come in and do a painting and end up with something really nice and um, so that's that's my whole idea behind it and it's ten dollars and there's no commitment you can come in you can go out you can do whatever you need to do I want to keep it really simple, but I, so all the paintings that I do in there, I, I give a lot of detail. Um, the ladies send me back pictures that they're working on, ask questions, and um, it turns out my ruffled roses were harder than I thought they were going to be. So I think I'm going to go back in there before the 18th and do, and do them again so that hopefully I can help more of them feel more comfortable with them and really get a nice result. Some of them really blew me away. They really did an amazing job, but I've heard back from a few people that they struggled with them. So my goal in there is to make it so everybody can paint. And so I'm gonna go back and do a little something with that. So if you're in that group, um, it'll be a surprise. It'll be a drop in unplanned situation. Cause that's how my life is right now. But, um, I will put a video in there for you guys and try to do that. Make it a little easier for you somehow. That's what you get when you paint. On wet paint, you get some green in there. That's okay. So yeah, so if you're in there, be looking for me. And uh, 
next weekend we'll be in the creatives Easter weekend doing a bright fun one in there for free so check that out as well and uh, there actually there's gonna be some surprises I got to get on the computer and, and make a, a post a thing um, there's gonna be some surprise giveaways in there and we're really hoping that everybody that joins us, if you like it, if you like an artist in there, that you'll go out, go over and check out their page, give them some love, support them. So definitely check that out. I'm just doing some little yellow centers here. I'm going to have to go back and do that white another layer because that green was still wet, you guys. But I'm just going to get... Yellow, you know, is, is pretty see-through often, and I know you're not even going to see it on these guys. We're going to do some outlining in black. Um, I just want to get another layer. It's all about the layers. So we'll get that going. So yeah, lots of stuff coming up. Hi, Brenda. Oh my gosh, you guys. Brenda is another one of the artists that is going to be in the creative weekend. She is an amazing artist. Um... Oh, shoot, Brenda, I can't think of your name, uh, your business name. It's, put put a link in. Go ahead. You guys, if you have, if you guys are small businesses, feel free, drop a link. I'm, I'm all about sharing the love. Um, she's got some great tutorials. She also has a paint group, I, I do believe. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you guys, share the love, right? I'm not even supposed to say that word on Facebook. It makes the bots go crazy. You know me, I don't follow rules ever so <laughs> it's all good but yeah she she did a tutorial in the last um creative weekend of a of a bunny rabbit she put in um a traceable she does a lot of really detailed work i believe she is an art teacher very cool very cool so there is that if you're looking for some more creative ideas, I'm going back over this white. The green is probably still wet. Do not care. It's going to be a chunky, fun, relaxed painting. I'm going from the inside out on my flowers because I want that rough edge. And I'm still using that round brush. And I'm a mover. I am an art teacher. I thought you were an art teacher. Yes. I saw some pictures she did at the school. They did a whole wall. It was really cool. I am not a professionally trained artist. I am a whimsical, self-taught, paint-all-the-things artist. <laughs> Hi, Amber. Love the leaves and the blending of the colors, Stacy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so that is where we're at with that. We're going to go ahead, as long as I have the white out, I'm going to try to, my brush has gotten really fat because you guys know I get a ton of paint. And I'm, I'm good with that. I like it. But I'm going to do a few lines in the top of my rim. I usually work with an angled brush, so this is a little bit more challenging for me. But I encourage you guys to try different brushes and see what what fits best in your hand. We're all different, right? And I really truly believe there's no there's no rules, right? Just do what brings you joy. I'm just throwing some white dashes. On the side of my vase because why not so that's where we're at with that I didn't even bother to wrap around the edges I said you guys were just doing super relaxed today easy easy I'm gonna wash this brush off and set it aside I'm gonna get out some black you know I love to take it to the dark side I can. There we go. Ooh, that was a ton of black. Ten more pounds of black than we need. I'm going to add a little water to it. Thin it down a little bit more. Ooh. 
I have too many cans open. Here we go. I'm going to use the liner brush. You could use a really fine little brush. You could use a fine tip permanent marker, gel pen. Use what you have. I'm going to just use this. I encourage you, if you have one of these, to get it out and play with it. Try it. I'm going to just go. I'm not doing full circles. I'm just doing dashes, lines, and curves. No rules. And I'm turning because that's what I do. <laughs> A lot of my paint is still wet. And it's okay. You guys, this is just... A little bit of whimsy for home decor. Don't get... I think the looser you keep it, the better it is on something like this. I'm just, again, doing dashes. Keeping it simple. You guys, if you know anybody that is safe at home right now and has access to some art supplies, is looking for a little inspiration and fun, um, have go on my website. I have gift certificates. You can buy them a gift certificate for $10. Send them an email, and they can join our next paint party for $10. There's like six or seven tutorials in there that they can catch up on. In the meantime, and um, they can come paint with us. I mean, you're gonna spend ten dollars on lunch these days, I swear. So, you know, if you have somebody that's that's home, that would be a really cool thing to do. Just call them and say, hey, you know, what's your email address? I want to send you a gift, and. Um, Tell them to get a hold. If they have any questions, they can't figure out how to use an e-gift card or anything like that. Um, tell them to get a hold of me. Send me a message, whatever, and I will help them do that. Because I think that would be a really awesome, sweet thing to do. A lot of... Um, our population is on the internet, but they don't they either don't shop online or they don't know how to do those things. And um, I'd be more than happy to walk them through the process so that they could join in with us. Uh, I would love that. That would be an awesome way to support me and to offer some fun, creative fun for anybody and everybody. So, that's a thing. Online gift cards. Who knew? And I have one lady out there. I, I don't know her name. I, I messaged back and forth with somebody that had, has bought her a gift card. And she is still, I don't believe, used the gift card to get into the group. So... I have to go back and check my emails and see who that was and reach out to them. If that is you and you're watching, let me know if there's if you're having some like you don't know how to do it or something. I'll, I'll help, or I can reach out to them or whatever the case may be. I know we all have a lot going on these days, so I'm just adding some black. Hi, Brenda. We've got a couple of Brendas on here. I was just talking about that. I've got a couple of Shirley's, a couple of Sandy's, a couple of... Now I have a couple of Brenda's. Just doing some whimsical fun. I'm just adding some details. If you are a regular painter, do your own thing. If you are a new painter, I hope this gives you some ideas. Still using that same little detail brush. 
You could use a toothpick. You could use the back of your brush handle. Again, you could use a permanent marker. A lot of times, um, the relaxation, the fun, the therapy, the whatever you want to call it is in just doing these little details, just having some fun with it. So that is pretty good. I am going to go ahead and just grab the back of my, oh, I can't use that brush. That one doesn't. If you try a few of your different paintbrush ends, you'll find that some of them have weird ends and they don't, they don't do it like I want them to do it. So I'm going to just go ahead. I'm grabbing into my paint. If I had it on my plate, it would be a little bit easier, but I'm just dabbing it off on my plate. So it's not quite so big. The more dots you do, the smaller they get. So you just kind of want to pay attention to how much paint you have on your brush. You know what I didn't do is I didn't put any petals down to the bottom like I did on the other one. I, I do like to do that. Let me just grab a little bit of white. I'm still using that round brush. I'm going to, oops, I got to go the other way because they're going down. I'm going to push and flick. Push and flick. That was a bad one. Here we go. You can fix it, guys. It's just paint. I usually like to have things at least in threes. <laughs> Here we go. Easy peasy. So I'll add a little black to those when they dry in a second. While they're drying, I'm going to go ahead and do some edging. Because I do love that. Hopefully this brush isn't too wet. This is personal choice. It's just my... I like the way it looks. It kind of frames out your painting. You can see the side that's done and the side that's not done. Just kind of pulls it all together. I've had a few of my friends say they're over it. They don't, they don't like the edging. And you do you. If you don't like the edging, don't do it. <laughs> no stress, you guys. Just do what you love, right? Do it as heavy or as thin as you like. I like to take the little edges of the brushes and make little things. I don't even know what they're called. That's just, just me. I'm going to turn this around. Make sure we're still in here. Here we go. So we've got just a little bit. And I often do as well a little bit. It's hard to do it on the camera because I like it to be facing me when I do it. But just a little bit of dry brushing. Bring that through on your sides. Spin you around here. Ooh, almost dropped it. See, I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see. So if you're coming down the hallway or whatever and you see the edges, it's kind of just, I don't know, it's finished on those two. So, again, that's just my, my take on life. So there we go. Pretty wild. Let me just go ahead and finish those last couple of petals on the bottom. Oop, I'm getting black on my, my fingers and my thumb and everything else. There we go. Turn you back up here where I can see you. Hi. <laughs> so, I hope you guys all enjoyed take two. I'm going to turn off. Let me see if I can turn off this. There we go. Let's see if that is any better. I don't know. Might be better, might be worse. I think it's the... Yeah, I think it's worse. I think it's the light from the window giving us, giving us a hard time today. 
So anyways, hopefully this shows up good. I'm looking at a little phone, so I don't know. This is the one I did earlier and deleted because I was outside. I really feel like it's because I was outside and I couldn't see anything. Oh, there you go. I can see it now. I hope you guys can see it. And this is the one we just did. So you can kind of see if you paint things a few times. There we go. If, we, if you paint things a few times, you can kind of embellish and change things up as you go up, go along. So yeah, so thank you for joining me. I hope you paint something today, get creative, and um, hope to see you in the Creatives Easter weekend where we'll be doing something along these lines. Get a little fired up over there. And I hope to see you in my paint group. And we'll do something along these lines. So thanks for joining me. And um, I will see you soon. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye.